We know that we have a lot of water shoots over here that's not doing the tree any good. It's providing too much shade to make the apples ripen. And you might not be able to see it from here. And I knew I had to lighten this up. If you can see right there, and I'm going up a ladder so you can see it. You can see that dark shadowy dust on there. That's black rot. Now go up a ladder and show you what it looks like. So you can't see this from the ground. But this will continue down this tree and take this entire branch off. And that means all the way to there. And it might take that one out and you'd have to go all the way down to the bottom. So it's better to take this one out, although I'm going to get past my 20%. And although it's clean here, and nothing growing over here, and just a little growing there, I could take a chance and cut it off here, and drop that, and still keep this, and keep an eye on it, except right there. You see this? So it's got to come up here. And to cut a branch off that size, you need it on an angle. And there's no collar particularly, so you're going to lose the stub over time, and it'll get into this anyway. And you make a cut through the bottom up first, so that when you cut down through the top to the bottom, if you didn't cut, undercut it, when it got to that point and fell, it would strip the bark off all the way down this tree. So you have to cut through the bark about that far, and then come down to that cut, and this will just fall away without stripping the bulk. And if you strip your bulk, see, then this one, disease and infection, anything get into open wounds. You can see where I made the un undercut, and then I made the uppercut, and once it got there, the top of the tree was just right on the ground, and then the stub fell right down beside the ladder. And while I'm up here, I'm gonna take out that vertical, or a few of these. <laughs> 